Um, David Dangle, of course, is the CEO and president of Joan Rivers Worldwide, um, a partner and friend of Joan's for 25 years. I thought you were going to say a partner in crime. I'm like, that, <laughs> well, that works too. too. I know, right? <laughs> I know the two of you. I've heard those adventures. Totally. But David, of Funny. course, is continuing to bring these beautiful things that Joan loved and mm. Joan brought to all of us. And this has become a tradition, David, the set of these Russian-inspired egg ornaments. Here's what's exciting for me right now. You're all seeing them first here in Holidays with Jill Bauer. Right. These are the only quantities we have for 2016. They have sold out every single year. They have been on the air for the last 12 years. 12 right? years. We sell them out every single year. But there's never a repeat. No, no. And there's some exciting new, new things here. So I'm just going to let you take it oh, away. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, what, what always amazes me is when we sit down to design next year's, because we're working on 2017 now. Yeah. I always think, how do we reinvent? What can we find out new about Fabergé? What can we find out new about Russian inspired eggs yeah. and every year there are new techniques. I do my research and I dig into what Fabergé was doing at the time. Yeah. I found out, I didn't know this, he worked with 144 enamel colors and that was it. <gasps> it was a very tight palette. Wow. I found out that he'd only made two green imperial <gasps> eggs. Oh so we're, we're inspired by one of the green imperial eggs. Wow. Each one is inspired by what were called the imperial eggs I mentioned and they were eggs commissioned by the Tsar of Russia from Fabergé and he gave them as gifts to his wife, to his mother, he gave to, uh, one to the King of Denmark. I mean, they were done as wow. very, very important annual uh, events. So I've based the four that we see here today on really what I think are some of the best of the Fabergé yeah. eggs. And should, we, should we walk through them one at yes, a time? Yes, please. So I'll give you a little bit of a quick mini history on each one. And already popular, by the way, expiring offer on this because easy pay goes away at midnight. Oh, okay. So take advantage of that. We start with this purple so egg. So the purple egg is based on an egg that Fabergé, com com it was commissioned by Fab Fabergé, rather, by the Tsar to give to his wife, Alexandra. And it was, it's a, it's kind of interesting that we've never done this technique before. It's granulation. It's little tiny, what would be called mill grain, if it were, if it were gold. And if you'll come in tight, guys, you'll see that those are little tiny golden beads that make those beautiful acanthus wreaths that, that surround the cloisonne in the center. Amazing that beautiful. it was also a matte purple, a matte finish. Yeah. Fabergé loved shine. He loved uh, uh, matte finishes. He really was kind of uh, excited every time he created a new egg. And, uh, and I think that that, uh, that is one of the particularly prettiest ones I've ever seen. And all hand-painted. I don't oh, want yeah. you to think those are decals or stickers. Hand-painted. Every ha egg hand-blown and hand... Hand-blown glass. Yeah. I was and blown away. I mean, hand-painted. Incredible. I, I, I actually asked the factory to send me some images while they were working on the various eggs and literally blown by hand. Not blown into a mold. And yeah. These are created <gasps> one at a time. So that's our... That's Fabulous. our... Inspired by the, uh, by the uh, egg that he made for his mother. We go to the green, the green. which was one of 57 yeah. imperial eggs that he created throughout his career. So there were only 57 made from the period of about 1885 to the revolution in, in 1917. Wow. So they're extraordinary. They're in museums. They're very, very, very special. The third egg is the silver, and I love the oh, history this is of beautiful. This is called the Danish Jubilee egg. This egg was commissioned from Fabergé by the Tsar, and he gave it to, as a gift to his wife's father, who was the king of Denmark, King Christian of Denmark. Oh, that's so beautiful. it was one of the few eggs that Fabergé worked in steel, platinum, and silver, as well as all this gorgeous enamel work, which I think beautiful. is just extraordinary. So that's actually one of the few eggs we've done in silver as well. So I mm -hmm. love it. And then I know this is your favorite My on the favorite end. My favorite is down this at the end. This is amazing. I would pay the $59 just to get this oh, egg. Oh, that's lovely. And it's frankly, amazing. if you went to some of the very exclusive stores that would carry this kind of craftsmanship, $59 is a conservative price well, and, point and, for and, one and ornament, David. And, for, and you're getting all four, getting for, all that four for that price. And you're getting all four for that price, I mean, I can yes. go into the Bergdorf Goodmans of the world and find lovely ornaments that are $59. Yes. And they're, they're as pretty as these are, but I love that Look we're giving that you a red. set. So that's, oh. the, that's the Tsarevich egg, and this was one of the rare eggs that was designed, not for the royal family, not for the Tsar's family, but for a very wealthy man commissioned this uh. from Fabergé for his wife. <gasps> and it's a beautiful one. And we were talking, you were talking about mercury glass earlier. Yeah. This is kind of that same technique. We're actually seeing inside the egg, it's a little bit of a transparent glass, and the richness of that scarlet beautiful. enamel is amazing. We haven't even mentioned the yes. gift box, which I think is extraordinary.
extraordinary. So here is, you can see, like all of your eggs come in this beautiful red box, it beautifully lined in satin. I sort of tipped it up there yep, so they did. Everything is protected, but, so I mean, this is how you store it. Extraordinary. How you give it. And, and as I said before, none of these are repeats from any of the no, other no, years. No, 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 no. These and are And they all... all have a commemorative time. Yeah, actually, yeah. let me come in and I'll show you if the camera can come in. I'll show you on your, I'll call it the Jill egg. Okay, thank but you. But what you're going to find on the cap, and it might take a little bit of camera work here, guys, but it will say JR, and then below that it will say 2016. Can we see? Love oh, there that. Go. There we go. So basically, every egg will be hallmarked with that. Actually, I'm going to show you because I think those might have been our sample. I'm going to bring you in and show you on the 16. I don't, you might be able to get a there better close up on that, guys. And there you'll find we've been hallmarking them for, say, I think, 2016. Yep. We, we've been hallmarking them from the very beginning. We skipped, well, I was telling you this story earlier, we skipped one year. Joan was not happy with the designs. And she said, I'm not wow. selling. We canceled, I think it was 2006. Okay. We just said, no, we're not doing it. So we are very particular when it comes yes. to these eggs. It's something that's very, very important to us that we really love and honor the tradition of Fabergé, of course, but also Joan, who yes. really was a Christmas nut. You've oh, been to her yes. house at Christmas time. Right. She yes. had a 16 foot tall live oh, Christmas tree, which yes. is pretty awesome. Yes, her Christmas party on Christmas uh, Eve that was, was famous. A, that was a pretty famous party I mean, with really lots, of, famous. lots of fun. Yeah, and I love fantastic. what your, your, your set people have done. I love the idea of putting one at each place set. Isn't that pretty? That's lovely. Well, Joan would actually put them on the chair. Yes. She would leave a set for all of her dinner. Well, she did Thanksgiving, for which Thanksgiving, I think you were there one, yes. one year. It was a lovely, she loved a beautiful home. She loved celebrating holidays. Well, and she was a gracious hostess. Gracious hostess you know? and also with a great eye. She yes. just loved beautiful things. Yes, she did. So when we when we started creating these, we learned a lot about hand-blown glass, about decorating with hand painting, mm -hmm. creating the looks of cloisonne and plique a jour and all the famous, te you know, jewelry techniques yes. that Fabergé really yes. made famous. We're now putting them into the hand-blown glass glass and I, I my tree now is almost all Joan ornaments oh, and it's kind of crazy it's gorgeous thank you I've seen it. thank you I, 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 um, you know I, I do love to decorate at Christmas and yes. I just I love to cut down my own tree and just sort of really trim it up and I'm buying some things here tonight by the way I've done oh, some good. I'm a little shopping while oh, I'm here you, why David not Dangle. as long as I'm you know I'm, I, I love the look and it's been great so well but, let's remind everybody that this is the quantities that we have there's no advanced orders no, and you know we, we don't bring in like 50,000 of these and we usually never, have about 8,000 for the entire year and that's it. I mean, yeah. they've already been produced. They're not anymore being made. No, no, no. This, this is here. all that we have with an easy pay that expires. It works out to be about $15 an ornament. Which is for amazing. Hand painted, beautiful hand blown glass, each one one of a kind, each one a true piece of jewelry Thank for you. your tree. I mean, over 2,000 of these have now been ordered. Um, they're special. And so many of you loved Joan. You followed her here at QVC. You followed her career. I know she always loved to hear people who said, oh, I saw you in 1972 at right. such and at such, right? a little club downtown, right, yeah, exactly. But she really, I mean, didn't she elevate all of our homes and, and wardrobes with the beautiful touches that that she very, brought to us, and I'm much. so thrilled that this legacy is continuing. Well, I, I think that she would be very happy as the, as the designs for the eggs progress. I think we yes. get we get better and better at it every year, yeah. to be honest with you, because I can't believe some of the techniques we're using, the beautiful granulation on the purple. Yeah. I love the idea of the egg oh, has that no red good just or kills bad. Me. It's tw all the way around. I can't completely. stop looking at it. Oh, well, it, it fits beautifully in a lot of what you've done here yeah. today, which is so pretty. Yeah. They're going to be the stars of your tree. They are really going to be that wonderful. Do you love when you people go to your tree and say, and go, yes. oh, look at this, Ooh, look at that? Yes. These are the ornaments that are going to get that reaction. Absolutely. Well, if you are dialing in, using QVC.com, place your order. Well over 2,000 of these ordered in this presentation with Easy Pay. We continue to be busy. David, pleasure. Pleasure nice to see to you see too. You. Bye, honey. See, I'll you, see soon. you soon. Um, stay on the line if you're dialing in for those. Remember, Easy Pay on that goes away at the end of the day. And then also our Nutcracker completely sold out he has marched right on out of here so thank you for your calls thrilled that you loved him now when we talked about our beautiful carved angel earlier and she's still available if you'd like her h206429 i mentioned that we would be talking